Activities of MEK resistance units continue across Iran. In a series of activities across the country, resistance units emphasized the need to disband the Revolutionary Guards given their role in the suppression of the Iranian people and the plunder of the country's wealth. They wrote graffiti and posted banners in different cities. They also posted pictures of Maryam Rajavi, the president of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, and excerpts from her speeches in various parts of cities. They also wrote graffiti rejecting both the Shah and the clerics, displaying aspirations for a democratic republic. These activities were carried out across Iran. Various Iran cities witness protest. Poverty is running rampant in Iran and many people are unable to make ends meet. This is resulting in more protests by various sectors of society. Here are some from Saturday. Family members of retired steel factory workers held a protest in front of the Interior Ministry building demanding officials address the issue of their delayed salaries. Workers of the Ramin power plant in Avaz continued their protests in demand job security. Telecommunications company workers held a protest outside the Ministry of Communications in Iran. Healthcare workers held a rally in front of the parliament in Iran, protesting their lack of job security, officials changing their employment classification and their job status remaining in limbo. Iran Coronavirus death toll exceeds 116,500. Over 116,500 people have died of the coronavirus in Iran, according to the MEK on Monday. The death count declared by the regime stands at 27,192. The health ministry spokesperson announced that the most engineered COVID-19 numbers on Monday were 3,902 cases, and 4,167 patients in dire conditions. She added that there have been 235 deaths in the past 24 hours. Masood Madani, a member of the National COVID-19 Task Force, said Monday, at least 200 people are dying each day because of COVID-19, and of course I believe the death rate may actually be higher. 